As we burn oil, coal and gas, the world is getting warmer. And to avoid the worst impacts, nations have agreed to limit global warming to 2 degrees Celsius. The latest analysis suggests that to meet this target, global emissions need to remain within a carbon budget of 5 to 900 gigatons of carbon dioxide by 2050. That's far less than what would be emitted if all the world's current oil, coal and gas reserves were burned. Even with an optimistic rollout of carbon capture technology, most of these reserves are unburnable. New research by Carbon Tracker shows that just the reserves owned by companies listed on stock exchanges contain enough carbon to create more than 762 gigatons of carbon dioxide. And those companies are currently spending $674 billion each year to find and develop yet more reserves. Fossil fuel companies raise money from pension funds, lenders and other investors and use the capital to develop more reserves. Investors assume that the fuel will be extracted, leading to coal, oil and gas sales and generating revenues. But when carbon limits are introduced, less fuel will be consumed and reserves will become stranded assets that no longer provide returns. If companies keep spending at the same level over the next decade, listed companies alone would own more carbon than the budget for the whole century. $6.74 trillion of capital expenditure, possibly your pension fund, could be wasted developing unburnable reserves. Investors need to know if they are exposed to this carbon bubble so that capital can be diverted into low carbon growth. To make sense of this issue, we've laid out all the data on this map. It shows how much carbon is held by companies listed on each major stock exchange, both in their current reserves and their larger potential reserves. It shows how much the shares in those companies are worth, how much capital the companies are spending and how much debt they're in. You can filter by oil, coal or gas or click on any stock market to see the biggest fossil fuel companies listed there. You can also compare how exposed each major index is to carbon risk, either in terms of current reserves or potential reserves. When you've finished browsing the map, share it with friends or colleagues, or contact your pension fund to ask how they are managing the risk posed by the carbon bubble.